Hey, what's going on everyone? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to the Steam 2 video. And today we're going to be talking about a weapon that I think is going to be amazing once Beyond Light hits. And that weapon is this one right here. The 140 hand cannon, the old fashioned. This hand cannon actually has some pretty great perks. And that's one of the reasons why I think it's going to be pretty good. But another reason is just because of all the changes that are happening around it. Otto's getting nerfed. The 150's turning into 140's. Meaning that this weapon won't be at a big disadvantage, kind of like it was against a lot of the 150s. Now that everything's a 140, this thing is really finally gonna shine. And the best thing about this is that it's not getting sunsetted. It was released with Season of the Dawn, so it still has some life left in it. So you're still gonna be able to use it for something like Trials or Iron Banner. So while the weapon itself is not getting a direct buff, it is getting indirectly buffed all the changes that are happening and oh boy am i excited for this weapon even now this weapon is already pretty great but it's gonna get better now you might be asking how do i actually get an old fashioned well that's where the bad news comes in the old fashioned is just a random drop so you kind of just have to play the game and get lucky as unfortunate it is to say it is just pure rng to get the old fashioned it does seem to drop quite often though so if you do play pretty regularly, I think you're going to get a couple of these drops. The bad thing is that you might not get the perks that you want. But the good thing is that it actually does have some really good perks. And you can even get some perks and some perk combinations that you can't really get on all the hand cannons. And today we're talking about this one specifically. This one is the one that I've been using for a couple months now. And I just love it. And I think it's actually probably the best role that you can get on it. Just because it makes it super crispy, it makes it very consistent, and it just makes the weapon feel good. We have Quick Draw, which is going to make the weapon feel really nice, very responsive. It's just going to feel like you want the hand cannons to feel. And then we have Explosive Rounds. As a lot of you guys probably have seen, I love Explosive Rounds. The extra flinch and the extra range are just too good to pass up. I just really like it, and I think that it makes winning 1v1 fights just uh, a little bit easier against opponents since you're messing them up with the flinch. So this is the perks that I think that you should actually go for. There is one thing that I would change about this role and that's the magazine perk. If I had some actress rounds, it would definitely be like the ultimate god role for the old fashioned. But at least we have the two trade perks that we're looking for and that's what I'm really worried about. That's what really makes the weapon feel the way it does and it makes it feel so nice. It's just some extra range. A range masterwork will also be good or and the stability masterwork if you're playing on controller. And why I think these are the best perks that you can get, there's some other interesting ones like moving target, uh, slide shot, fading frenzy. There's some other good ones in there, but I definitely think that these is the role that you should aim for. The accurate rounds, quick draw, explosive payload is gonna be it's gonna be nasty. I'm telling you. I love this role, I think it's so good. And I think that you guys should give it a try if you have one. If you haven't tried the old fashioned in a while, you're gonna be surprised. Even now, like I said, if you take it against the 150s that are still out there, they're just ridiculous in Sonja Atos, this thing is still gonna be destroying people. And it's only gonna get better next week. Definitely expect to see this once more people start picking it up. So that's why I think the old fashioned is gonna be amazing. And if you have some in the boat, definitely check those rolls to see if you have a good one. Now, that's pretty much the end of the video. If all you wanted to know was why the old fashion is gonna be good, then that's pretty much it. But now we're gonna take it into the crucible and play a quick crucible game and just show you how it performs. Go and let's see how it goes. <laughs> you know, it's funny that we ended up on the same map where the gameplay that you guys are probably watching probably was from. And there's a guy behind me. Oh man, that, that was a really bad smoke. Oh, those explosive rounds coming through? Ah, uh, but there's another guy just waiting for me. The True Prophecy. I've seen a lot more 110s and like 140s lately. Everyone's getting ready <laughs> for the, the change. I really wonder, uh, like, just how good those 120s are going to be. Like, doesn't seem like a big change. You know, you're 10 RPM, but I think it is going to be quite a, quite a change. What do you guys think, though? Ah, I guess that guy didn't even see me. That's good though. Uh, and my teammates don't even see him. Um, 
All right, then. Let's go through here. Oh, man. Oh, you could probably catch this guy. There's this other guy. You know the guy shooting at me? Why would you shoot me, buddy? That was not very nice. All right, let's grab a... Might as well. Might as well. But, you know... That would be nice if he had more ammo. Oh, boy. Where did he end up at? Oh, jeez. That was close. I think that's just the smoke. Yeah, that's just the smoke. Oh, you know what's not a smoke? This guy! Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, I barely got him in time. Let's throw a nade over there. Maybe it hits a... Uh... Yeah, there it goes. Perfect. Even if it didn't kill the guy. As long as it does some damage, I'm happy. Oh, man. Wait. Ah, I probably could super. I probably should super. Since it's the final seconds of the match anyways. And now that I think about it, having super old this game. Because I was just kind of focusing on the gun. And uh, wanting to get some kills with the gun. And I'm just... Okay. <laughs> okay. Not the greatest Spectre Blades. Uh, I will admit. They were actually pretty bad. Okay, for some reason I stopped recording. But hey. Not the greatest game. Not the worst game. Just an okay game. But it's a pretty good hand cannon. You guys got the point. It's a pretty good one. Even uh, <laughs> when you're missing a bunch like me. But anyways, I hope all of you guys have enjoyed the video today. Leave a like you did. Dislike like you didn't subscribe to the channel in case you guys haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care everyone. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.